I don't even have to teach you. And exactly. So Wait, like am the I whole doing it? absolute. Are you going backwards? <laughs> yes. It's it's. That's why I'm a master. <laughs> I have to say, thank you for these skates. I feel like they're very chic. They're matte black. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, our friends at Jackson Ultima, oh, there you they go. hooked us up. They're the skates that I use. Oh, my gosh. And um, Thank you, Jackson. And you. I'm just also living every gay boy's fantasy right now. Adam Rapine is putting on my <laughs> skates. I'm wearing a sequin LeMay thing, and I'm about to go get on the ice with you and learn how to flip and turn. Truly. My heart be still. Wow. I think it's time. Is it time? It's time. It's like baby's first steps. I I have a really good feeling. I'm just gonna skate right to you. Please. Into your arms. Yes. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't wanna knock you over. You no. did it! That was great. You're feeling good, all yeah. right. No, you're great. Okay. I feel you look Sturdy, like sturdy, strong. Yeah, very nice. Very, there we, there we go. go. Yeah, there we let's go. Just, you gotta have a couple of the. Let's start. Okay, let's, let's start. just see okay. kind of like how we're feeling. I don't know that I remember how to stop, so I think that's an important first I thing to learn. I think it's just more go go go. Well, we met through Britney Spears. We did. Do you remember? I do remember. Also, I don't remember anything from that moment because it was sort of like a blackout for yes. me. Yes. That night was a blackout for me on a lot of dimensions because I knew I was going to be interviewing you, which I was very excited about. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, it just felt like the room heated up. It Everyone did. Everyone got silent. Yes. And there was like a blur of sequin and glitter. Oh, Brittany, hi. Just, can we take a moment? You come back. And then we looked, and Britney Spears had just walked in front of us. You Am I? on video? <laughs> Wait, can we see it? I think the only clip from the interview that they aired was just our reaction to yeah. it because we were getting our life. Because I feel like we both had our jaws on the yes. ground. Speechless. It's time to learn your first skating move. Okay. So this spin, okay. you'll have your arms out, right? And you're gonna march. Okay. Toes kissing and you'll pull in and you'll spin. Okay. March, toes kissing, spin. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Toes kissing. Yes. <laughs> That's good. That felt good. I'm pretty shocked. A skater is born. <laughs> a skater yeah, is born. A skater is born. You're going to create a monster today. I hope you know that. I hope I do. Okay. What I really admire about you is all of the activism you do, and okay. you are such a role model within the LGBTQ plus community. Can you share with me and everyone who's watching all the stuff that you do? For me, it always comes down to storytelling because I've always said it's hard to hate someone up close. And so I love trying to create projects and initiatives that are gonna elevate LGBTQ stories like what I'm doing in my documentary, State of Pride. What is this documentary? We are looking at what pride means to young people 50 years after Stonewall. And there are so many things I love about Pride, but one of them is the idea that Pride can give you such a window into a local culture and community. Is it controversial? Is it celebrated? Is it big? Is it small? And so I thought, what a cool way to kind of learn about the regional differences across our country through the lens of Pride and seeing how for some LGBTQ people, it's incredibly personal and meaningful and powerful and, and a big celebration. And for some LGBTQ people, they hate it. They think it's a big circuit party. They think that it has lost its meaning. It's become too corporate, um, too politicized, not inclusive enough. And mm -hmm. so if you're part of the community and someone asks you what you think of Pride, you're gonna have an opinion, mm -hmm. positive or negative, but everyone has something to say. So when was the last Pride you've been to? To be honest, the last Pride, and the first Pride I ever went to was Toronto Pride. Ooh, that's a good one. About 10 years ago. 10 years ago. I was still in the closet, actually. Wait, so the lot, wait. So, wait, wait. There's a lot to unpack. You have not been to Pride since being out? No. You are legendary Adam, gay icon, and you have not been to Pride since you've come out? No. 
do you own a pride flag? Okay, I own a tiny one that's like on a popsicle stick that no. like Serena Cha Cha used. Yeah, it's like one of the ones that they give out yeah. at Pride yes. that's like. That's what I cents. have. Okay, well, I have something for you. The thing about Pride flags is we have different sizes for different occasions. <laughs> so, this is my big kahuna. This one is like the 10 footer, and then we've got like a six feeter, but. Oh. I think if you skate a little bit. Oh, it looks so good. It's pretty, right? Queen! It is crazy, like, I remember going to that Pride in Toronto, mm -hmm. and I felt so uncomfortable being there. Like, 10 years ago, there was something I felt so, like, not authentic being there. I was still mm -hmm. in the closet. Yeah, yeah. Did you feel like, excited to be able to go back one day or were you afraid of it? Um, I'm really excited, especially after watching your documentary, to like get involved and, and be at Pride. Because a, a lot of like the younger people in the LGBTQ plus community don't really realize how the people during Stonewall fought for us to be able to have a Pride. Yes. And you know, I even think to like things that I've been able to do, I wouldn't have been able to do them without those people taking action, so. There are gonna be a lot of people that talk about seeing you on TV as the milestone for them. There were a lot of kids that saw you being unapologetic, doing your thing on ice, and that might have opened their mind to the idea that maybe they could be out someday. So you're part of it. I... It's living, breathing history, and, and you're a part of it. Can I have a moment real quick? Yes. It is making me a little emotional seeing this because you look so good, you look so free and beautiful, and you rep the flag so well. I want to give this to you. No, yes. are you sure? You need to go big this Pride season. I think you need a big flag. Oh, Raymond. <laughs> you make it work so well too. And like, for a flag this size, you've got to get some wind behind it and you know how to create the wind, so. Well, now I just need a big pole. Something tells me that you won't have a problem finding <laughs> one. So I want to try a bunny hop. Okay, I like the sound of that. Okay. Okay. So you're just gonna go. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. So I'm gonna kick this up first. You're gonna kick this up, uh -huh. land on that toe, and then go. So okay. go very slowly. So kick up here, land on this. So kick. Uh, got it. Got it. Kick, land, push. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So you want to try it together? Yes. Okay. And one, and two, two, three. Oh my God! This is the first step to me lifting you over I my head. I'm feeling the fantasy you for know? sure. Yes. I'm really curious of what your experience on Drag Race was like. It was walking into a gay boy's fantasy dream. Mm -hmm. Like, I never would have thought that I'd ever be able to walk the runway for RuPaul in drag. And so being able to do it and do it with such a close friend, um, doing it with Tyler, was like two of the best days of my life. Maybe it's... the best days of my life, honestly. Really? Yeah. Um, did you tuck? I did tuck, full tuck. I uh, honestly, I get like, a stomach ache thinking about it. Have you ever tried it before? Um, I think one time one ball went up my Yeah. That happens sometimes. <gasps> and basically, it's that feeling. <laughs> yes, it's that feeling where you feel it right here. Both go up, and then you pull the rest back, and then tape it, and put on really tight underwear, also called a gaff. It's like a special kind of thing. And then seven layers of tights. Seven? And then you're tucked. That's what we did with Asia. Seven for good luck. What? I'll tell you the secret about tucking though. Well, not the secret, but the thing that I expected least about tucking and getting into drag. Yeah. After about 15 minutes, you go completely numb. And so it wasn't the pain that was the issue. It was the idea that I couldn't pee for eight hours straight. So like Asia told me, you need to drink enough water so that you don't get dehydrated or that your lips crack but no more than that because you're not gonna be able to pee for eight hours. But I honestly think that's why Untucked gets so juicy is because the queens are so dehydrated that when they finally get that one tiny cocktail, it packs a punch. Yeah. 
Speaking of Drag Race, though, yes. I brought something. Okay. Adam, don't look. It's gonna be a sec. Okay, I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Let's miss check it. Yes, I knew that. You made this during the taping. Yes, Asia made it. How do you feel? Colder, mm -hmm. but hotter. Colder, but hotter. Um, Those are the Vixen's earrings. So after Asia, this is savage. After Asia eliminated the Vixen, uh -huh. the Vixen left some of her drag supplies behind. Okay. And these are her earrings that she wore in one of the challenges and Asia glued them to the jacket. <laughs> Little bit of drag race history for you on there. What? Yes. Yes! Now that I feel like really good about myself, good. let's learn another move. Perfect. Are you ready? Yes. So you're gonna skate forward, right? Okay. And then you're just gonna bend all the way down. Okay. Okay. I love it. That's just step one. Oh, okay, I was like, is that the trick? Yeah, so you're gonna bend all the way down and then you'll bring one leg out like oh, that. Oh my gosh. And that's called to shoot the duck. So we're gonna go down first. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna bend. Okay. And then you're gonna put one leg out. Ooh, <laughs> I'm, gonna help, I'm gonna hold your okay. hand. Okay, ready? Yeah. Bend. bend. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes! I, I do like that. A little stunty. I love that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> there we go. I learned that pride can mean many different things for different people, but it's so important for us to remember why we have a pride. And it's important for us to celebrate those people and all of the things that they've gone through so that we can be here on the ice and skating with pride flags and- um, And sequined jackets. Yes. That are more flamboyant than Anything most I've ever seen. Yeah, that is an honor. Well, I feel like you've taught me a lot. And I know that I might not technically be the best skater, but you really imbued this idea of just having confidence and a little bit of flair and making it your own. And so I'm gonna try to channel pride in my skate for you. Please. Just have fun. I think it's time. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Really nice. Wow. Oh, the arms are great. Okay. Yes. And, oh, wow, I... <laughs> cross, cross, lay, cross, open, cross, turn, up. Wow. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching Break the Ice. I'm Adam Rippon. This is Raymond Braun. We thank had so you much so much fun. for having me. Oh, thank you. Make sure you like and subscribe this video. Turn on the notifications so that you can watch the next episode of Break the Ice. And also, make sure that you watch Raymond's documentary, State of Pride.